Ladies and gentlemen, about 30 minutes ago, the judges of the pretrial chamber one have filed with the registry an arrest warrant against Omar Hassan Ahmed al Bashir on charges of crimes against humanity and war crimes. The warrant does not include the charges of genocide requested by the prosecutor. The judges issued the arrest warrant pursuant to the Rome Statute in order to ensure that Omar al-Bashir appears at the East trial, does not obstruct or endanger the investigation, and in order to prevent him from continuing with the commission of crime is alleged to have committed. The judges have asked the registry to prepare a request for cooperation seeking the arrest and surrender of Omar al-Bashir and transmit this to Sudan state parties to the Rome Statute Security Council members, not party to the Rome Statute, any other states as the registrar deems necessary. The judges have also ruled that if the circumstances so require, a provisional arrest warrant may be served on any state. I must recall that the responsibility to arrest and surrender Omar al-Bashir is on status at this point. Only states have the power and the jurisdiction to arrest and surrender suspects to the ICC in accordance with their obligation on the Rome Statute, Security Council Resolution 1593, and applicable international law. The registry will immediately implement the request of the judges and will notify the request for cooperation in the arrest and surrender of Omar al-Bashir on the states that uh, I have just indicated. The ICC relies on the cooperation of states to end impunity for the perpetrators of grave crimes that threaten the peace, security, and well-being of the world, as stated in the preamble of the Rome Statute. States now have to fulfill the obligations they undertook when entering into the Rome Statute. And when the Security Council of the United Nations, under Chapter 7 of the UN Charter, referred the matter to the court. <laughs> 